good morning students so today we have to start with a new chapter and the chapter is five kingdom classification so let's start with this topic why we need to do the classification first of all you must have seen your home is also classified into different rooms you have seen the libraries where there is classification and the dif different segments of the library has different subjects book can you imagine a library without classification what will be the situation a heap of book will be there and if you need to find out some facts related to the geography then you have to waste your energy you will have to waste your time you will have to waste uh, the required uh, energy so in that way you may and then also you will not be sure that you will be able to get that geography book and the related geographic facts from that book so that is why you must have now understood why we need classification we have seen in the living world you can see around yourself a variety of plants is there and a variety of animals is there and if there will be no classification and if you start your biological science studies from 10 years 12 years old then whole life will be over and you will be able to study near about 10 to 12 plants or animals isn't it so this classification helps you to identify a wide range of plants a wide range of animals around you and in this diverse forms of living creatures in this world we need classification so it is the classification by which a four year child or a five year child is able to understand whether the four footed animal is a cow or a dog if anything is flying in the sky it means it's a bird and if anything is found in water it means it's a fish so this is the classification by which you are able to identify a wide range of plants and animals around us so what is classification classification is actually the arrangement of animals and plants in taxonomic groups according to their observed similarities for example if on your study table also you are doing classification in your school bag also you do the classification you keep all the books together you keep all the copies together so you are classifying the printed and unprinted subject material so this is what on the basis of similarity okay then all the stationary objects on your study table is also done or separated on the basis of their similarity so here also in classification of the living world the animals and the plants are classified into different taxonomic groups on the basis of their observed similarities and this classification the different levels of classification are kingdom phylum class order family genus and species now what is the significance of classification why we need to study this chapter so first point is it makes the study of such a wide variety of organisms easy isn't it then it projects before us a good picture of all life forms at a glance so that is why a four year or five year child can identify whether the given animal is a fish or a bird or terrestrial or aquatic whatever then it also helps to understand the interrelationship among the different groups of organisms so this classification helps us to understand the relationship between the different groups of organisms then another significance is it serves as a base for the development of other biological science so the other biological science for example biogeography so what is biogeography 
in biogeography we study about the geographical distribution of the plants and animals this you must have studied in geography uh, subject also you must have studied about the vegetation of the particular place particular uh, continent and this is a part of biogeography then the various fields of applied biological science such as agriculture public health environmental biology also depends on classification so we can uh, classify the groups of plants into pest or disease vectors or pathogens or the different components of the ecosystem so this is how the study of classification is useful to us now we must know what is species so there are three basic points a species is a group of organisms first of all which will have a common genetic heritage so their genetic makeup or genome will be same similar they can interbreed among themselves this is most important and they will create the fertile offspring so a species is a group of individuals or organisms which can interbreed among themselves and creates the fertile offspring okay a species is one of the most specific classification that scientists use to describe animals so the smallest level of classification or the first level of classification the least complex level of classification is a species now what happens if the interbreeding is done between the two different species if the interbreeding is done between the individuals of two different species then the product will be a uh, known as hybrid and such products will be sterile you must know the meaning of fertile and sterile fertile which can reproduce and sterile which cannot further reproduce so hybrid will be an organism which will be the product of the interbreeding between the two animals or the two plants and of different species so such product will be known as hybrid and hybrids are generally sterile invariably sterile so here is one example of a hybrid that is tiger so tiger plus lion gives tiger so this is the example of tiger in the same manner jenki zebra plus donkey so the male individual on the mating of zebra and donkey jenki will be formed so jenki will also be sterile then jeep goat plus sheep so if the interbreeding is done between the goat and sheep it will be forming jeep and this jeep will also be sterile then pomato potato interbreeding is done with tomato it will form pomato so pomato will also have a sterile nature then mule zebra zebra when interbreeds with donkey it will form mule that is also a sterile so these are known as hybrids and hybrids are sterile and what are hybrids hybrids are the product of interbreeding between the individuals of two different species so this is all for today now your homework is to write down the definition of classification then write down the significance of classification then define a species then define hybrid and what is the characteristic of hybrid and give all the examples of hybrid which is mentioned in your book thank you everyone